Whale Hell Fire as Rock the Riff. For another metal head, Emmy. Back with some King Gizzard. So, uh, I know that's going to make a few people happy. I, I was doing, I did a, I was trying to catch up on my community post list of requests. And I did even my normal spot where I've been doing a lot of King Giz. People were commenting like, yo, where's the King Giz? I had planned on waiting for this album to drop so I could knock this album out. And then I will be going to KGLW. Uh, but I guess we pronounce this Changey. I don't know with that apostrophe in it or whatever it's called. But uh, I did have Mysterious Higgs, a member, reach out to me and was like, yo, the extended mixes are the bomb. And I can't wait to listen to those. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do those for the channel, but I'm definitely going to be checking those out. Uh, outside in my car all that kind of good stuff but either way let's dive into changey changey i'm not sure <laughs> still got a good guitar in that picture I wonder if all the shorter mixes will sound like this just sounds this sounds like a buildup. I'm assuming something's getting ready to drop here in just a minute. <laughs> but I wonder if the drop doesn't happen until the extended mix. This is definitely an interesting album. I just realized Cookie had a guitar too. <laughs> that goes to show you, I'm one of those people, that, I don't know why, but it's like if you said, hey, go in that closet and get uh, the, the screwdriver out of that closet. I would walk into that closet, and because I'm looking for that screwdriver, it would be so oblivious to me. I'd look past it 50 million times. But now that I'm actually seeing a blown up version of this and taking a second to stare, it's like, damn. I saw Stu because I see his hand, but then I look over and Cookie's got one too because I thought that was his hand on the keyboard, but it's, I guess, no, that's Lucas. I'm telling y'all, not the sharpest tool in the shed. Which I like this new sound at, this little bass sound added to this.
and this goes straight up. Okay, that was interesting. This is such a fucking 180. This is such a 180 compared to Petra. But Miss Mysterious Higgs did let me know that the extended mixes. He uh he said that the extended mixes to him showed more of the tie-ins to Petra. So I am, like I said, I am super excited to check out the extended mixes. Uh, I feel like this track is going to fall within. I'm such a big King Giz fan now that they can do no wrong almost to me. But yeah, this track just isn't. It ain't really like standing out to me. It's a bit. It falls more into the art house. Like, I felt like this didn't really go nowhere. <laughs> and I feel bad to say that, but I felt like it didn't really, it didn't go that far. It started here and it moved to here. And, but I love the soundscape. I love, uh, I like the electronic stuff. I think part of what fascinates me with that is, I don't know, I'm not that savvy in it. But it's like, I just got... I got to plug in for uh, my guitar, the Rabia Masad uh, Archetype plug-in. And that dude has like all kinds of, basically where he can turn, it turns your guitar into a MIDI. So sitting around, I've had, I've had a couple of days where I would just sit around and just fool around with the sounds that are this basically. So kudos to King Giz for making all these sounds and saying we're going to make full songs and all that. Like, it's crazy to me how many instruments all these guys can play. And they said, you know what, this album, we're going to cut back everything down to electronic. I mean, even the E-Kit. I'm curious if there's any real drums on this record. Well, yeah, that was, I still think the silver chord, the beginning of silver chord is my favorite part. That, dum, dum, that one that really is a uh, rip off of the Petro, of a Petro riff and all that. <laughs> but that was interesting. I really dig this album cover. The more I stare at it, I want a set of these uh, square frame, rectangle frame glasses that these dudes are rocking. <laughs> I like the I like the artistic nature of this so far, but I'm waiting to hear an electronic song that like really speaks to me all the way through. It's a bit so far this album to me is falling under the the soundscape, like literally just I don't know. It's hard for me. I'm gonna bob my head to certain parts, but at the same time, I just kind of want to sit back and just close my eyes and just listen to all the noises. Really, if I was, if I had a mean ass buzz sitting back, just listening to all the electronic noises and everything going on. But yeah, if this ends up being your first time on my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, I have already knocked out the first three tracks of this song. If you haven't seen that reaction, it's a little older. Uh, but yeah, rejoice because I'm getting ready to do the next song on this album too. I, it's kind of weird how I schedule when I record my videos. I'm literally, this is coming out the day of. 
So I woke up extra early to go ahead and check this song out. That way it would come out in my lunchtime block. And yeah. What's the next one? Gilgamesh. I think I had a few people comment. It was like, yo, uh, Gilgamesh. I like the track title already. But if I could think, yeah, I'm getting ready to dive into Gilgamesh. So stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.